nanotechnology here at Georgia Tech. Or if you were excited and turned on by music or by the band, you would be able to have a one-on-one -on -one session uh, with someone at the Philadelphia Orchestra. Those things uh, were not available to us in years past, but they are today. This is a new level of educational experience. What you see right here is the uh, screen of the scanning electron microscope. I'm going to show you that. That's what we're going to be working on for the next uh, 30 minutes. So this is some of that, that whatever it was I pulled off of that, um, that plant. And I put this in really small here. So what we're seeing right here is smaller than the wavelength of the visible light that we can use. Can you see the bug? Yes. Yes? What's that thing on the side right there? Here? Yeah. Uh, probably some dirt or something. Remember, this bug was probably dead on my windowsill for months. <laughs> so I probably picked up some dust. What did you want to be when you were a kid? And uh, how did you become interested in your it, field? That's an excellent question because I. Still, to this very day, I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. So, still working at that. Um, uh, that's why I came to Georgia Tech, made, got my doctorate. Possible. Being a professor at Georgia Tech is a pretty nice second place thing, but I still want to be an astronaut. Next election is in a couple years, so we'll see what we do. All of the exhibits at the aquarium saltwater? No, all of the exhibits here at the aquarium are not saltwater. We actually have our River Scout Gallery. Um, also called our freshwater gallery <laughs> that has all of our freshwater exhibits. So they're the only gallery that's freshwater, but other than that, the rest are saltwater. This has been great. I mean, this is amazing. I'm, I'm talking to you guys, and I'm about 12 feet underwater right now at 164,000 gallons of water. It's not every day that I get to do something like this. I mean, imagine that you're in outer space, you're flying a spaceship, and you're being attacked by aliens, and you want to stop them, okay? You want to either stop their ship, or you want to stop uh, whatever bullets they're fire firing at you, whatever missiles they're firing at you. Uh, one thing that, uh, you know, an engineer might dream up, or a science fiction writer might dream up, is the idea that you can somehow grab onto their ship and hold them in place with some kind of invisible force field, okay? Or with some kind of laser beam, or that maybe you could grab onto the missile that's coming your way and stop it, okay? Uh, this idea of manipulating objects, uh, ships, missiles, whatever, with some kind of invisible force field is actually something that we're capable of doing uh, in our laboratory here. Um, but the only catch, okay, is that we have to do it on a really small size. We can only uh, manipulate really tiny objects, okay? Things that are smaller than your eye can see, uh, microscopic objects.